We're Michael and Suzanne Gowan. We live in Lincoln, Illinois. We have nine children. We have um, three in the traditional manner and then six that we've adopted from Ethiopia over the last four years. Some of what we do, we do, we do a lot of things that every other family does. Helping three people with homework and making dinner and dropping somebody off and texting another kid to make sure are you coming home and oh there's laundry and oh where do you have to go tonight and just a million things going on but somehow it all kind of happens. When we were in the process of the first adoption actually, um, I had a small time period, like a small season, that I was able just to spend catching up on my Bible reading. I was amazed to see how many times God mentions the fatherless, specifically in Isaiah, in Isaiah 1. Um, God is angry at His people. They are doing religious things, but their hearts are not they're far from him and he says stop doing wrong do what is right defend the fatherless and take care of the widows and the oppressed that was not what i expected it was more of a practical thing you start serving people and you help um, children and those who are not being taken care of and those who are being oppressed you take care of them and that is worship to me adoption and taking care of the fatherless is a challenging thing. We feel strongly that this is something that God called us to, and that God calls all of His people. Now, that may not mean that everybody adopts, but somehow we are all in this together. So yeah, there are challenges, and there are days when it's hard, and there are days when it's really hard. But at the end of those days, um, I hope that we're able to answer that question and say, yes, we have been faithful, because that's what God wanted from us in the first place. Well, yes, obviously adoption is very um, costly and, um, and yet we saw God pour, um, pour into us, into our family, through people, through His people, through Lifesong um, and through those funds. Several people in our orphan ministry, they have all helped in many different ways to take care of our family and, and, and help provide for our adoptions and, and actually even uh, supported us emotionally and you know those kind of things as well. They've, they've really been there for us. But if we had not done this, if we had not taken this journey and responded to what we believe God called us to do, there's a lot that we would have missed out on. You know, just earlier when you guys were here, Eva's in here being fun and happy and loving. And even when we dropped her off at school the other day, as we were driving away, I said, I think she is probably the happiest person I know. Mm -hmm. If we had not stepped into this, I would have missed out on that. We would have missed out on that. <laughs>